welcome dear students today we are going to learn the chi 150 course of msc first year that is main group elements today's topic is noble gases last time we learn about the structure bonding of the xenon compound xenon fluoride and xenon oxide compounds today we learn some introduction about the noble gases and the clathrates. So, start with our topic. The noble gases are the present in a periodic table. You can see here the position of the noble gases in a periodic tables are at the right side near to the p block elements the elements include in a uh, in a noble gases are helium neon argon krypton xenon and anon in a group of a chemical elements that do not interact with other element in a manner because their electron orbits are completely filled and filled with the electron. Their electron orbits are complete and filled with the electrons. That's why the noble gases are not participated in the any reactions. The following items group that is helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and anon. These elements are in the eighth group of the periodic order and they form a 0.93 percent of the atmospheric volume and 1.29 percent of its mass. It is called the inertia because it does not interact with other elements that is they are inactive. Chemically and metaphorically noble of it as the noble do not confuse with the general any ordinary elements. Let me learn their properties. They shows as a gases in a room temperature. They doesn't have any color and any smell. They have eight electron equivalent that means their outermost shell there is a eight electron which is completely filled. The produce vehicle only in a special circumstances. It is drawn from the air in liquefaction and distillation. They found in the form of single atom gases. They are very weak internal interaction between the atoms. It is or it has a very low melting and the boiling. Grades. These are some uh, properties of the noble gases. Let me learn the another topic which is related to the noble gases are clathrates. Clathrate is a chemical substance consisting of a lattice that trap or contain a molecule. Traditionally, the clathrate compound are a polymeric and completely envelop the gased molecule. But in a modern uses, the clathrate also include the host guest complexes and inclusion compound. Here, mostly clathrate are the compound which are the host which envelop the guest mo molecule okay, for the, their transportation. Meaning of clathrate, here the clathrate or the clathrate compound it is also called as a cage compound. It is a chemical substances consisting of a lattice of one type of molecule trapping and containing a second type of the molecules. The word comes from the Latin clathrus meaning furnished with a lattice. For example, a clathrate hydrate involves a special type of a gas hydrates consisting of a water molecule enclosing a trapped 
gases that means what happened here the clathrates are the hydrated compound or the any uh, organic compound which has a bulky in nature but at the center of that compound there is a cavity and into that cavity here we can put any noble gases for the tra transportation from uh, one place to the another place and other uses okay this is uh, nothing but the uh, what the crown ether it is like a crown ether compound crown, cl crown ether are the, are the bulky organic compound and uh, this is useful for the exportation transportation of the uh, alkali metals okay this is mostly useful for the alkali metals and here the clathrate are the compound it is useful for the noble gases trapping of the noble gases a clathrate thus is a material which is a weak composite with the molecule of suitable size captured in a space which are left by the other compound they are also called host guest complexes inclusion compound and adduct here these are some structures of the clathrate this is the uh, what the cage like structure and at the center here there is a noble gases which can be trapped okay here uh, but in this uh, clathrates the helium and neon which are not uh, used why because here this helium and the neon they have the very small size and that's why these compound these gases which are not trapped by these clathrates the question always asked in the netsil examination and uh, also in your examination the why the helium and the neon are not used in a clathrate okay let me learn next that is the application and limitation here for the clathrate hydrate compound it is used for the carbon dioxide sequestration and also which is useful the storage and transportation of the natural gases for the intermetallic clathrate it is used for the magnetic cooling applications also the photovoltaic application and optoelectronics the sequestration means what it is a long term storage of a carbon dioxide or other form of carbon to either mitigates or defer global warming that is called as the sequestration this is all about some introduction of the noble gases their properties and also the clathrates this clathrates which is always asked in your examination for the five marks but your exam is on mcq pattern that's why the questions asked on this um, topic is that dash dash is the uh, noble gases which is used in the clathrates or the dash dash are the noble gases which are not used in the noble gases and another question also asked in the mcq pattern why the helium not used in the uh, clathrates the answer is because the neon and the helium are not used in the clathrates because of their smaller size okay this is about the noble gases here we stop the next time we will learn our last topic of the syllabus that is the organometallic compound so from tomorrow we will learn the different organometallic compound their preparation property structure and the application thank you very much for watching this lecture comment on the lecture this is your presenting thank you